Kasa Zampo and welcome. This podcast brings to you the remarkable stories and transformative achievements of the Desung Skilling Program or DSP. The DSP is on a mission to cultivate a skilled and resilient workforce driven by youth. I'm your host Namge Choden and in our coming episodes we will hear from our various speakers on the far-reaching impacts of the DSP on individuals as well as communities. To our listeners in Bhutan and beyond, we invite you to connect, contribute and be part of Bhutan's journey towards empowering lives through skills development. Our first ever guest on the podcast is Tashu Tashidoji, who is currently serving as the chairperson of the Desung Skilling Program. Having undergone his training in the first ever executive badge of the Desung in 2014, Tashu has since then been actively volunteering while also having served on the National Council of Bhutan from 2013 to 2023. Tashu has been with the DSP since its inception, and I'm very excited to hear from him today. Tashu, we're so honored to have you here with us in the studio today as our inaugural guest. And I'm going to ask you the very important question of how the Desung Skilling Program came to be and how it aligns with the broader goals of the Desung as well as our national development goals. Thank you, Namge, and I'm honored to be here and excited to share more about the Desung Skilling Program and how it is shaping the future of Bhutan through youth empowerment and nation building. Desung was born from His Majesty's vision and it has always been about voluntary service to the nation. And Desung Skilling Program, DSP, extends this ethos into economic empowerment. The Desung, meaning Guardians of Peace, was initially established as a voluntary initiative focus on disaster response, rehabilitation, and rescue operations. But over the years, its role expanded into a broader nation building, actively contributing to various transformative projects across Bhutan. Some of the key national service projects undertaken by DESUPS so far includes Million Tree Plantation, a nationwide environmental conservation initiative, National Dog Sterilization Program, addressing public health and animal welfare, National Service Road Projects, supporting infrastructure and road connectivity, National Service Hydro Projects, contributing to Bhutan's energy security, Gelsung Academy Construction, assisting in the establishment of the National Service Academy and National uh, Water Projects, ensuring clean and sustainable uh, water solution for the communities. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the SUPS played a frontline role, protecting and assisting uh, communities at great personal sacrifice Recognizing their dedication and resilience, His Majesty uh, gifted the Desung Skilling Program, DSP, to reciprocate their service, providing them with lifelong skills for self-reliance and national development. Therefore, DSP was launched in April 2021 to provide industry-relevant training, ensuring young people are market-ready and adaptable to evolving job markets. Tasho, I'm hearing that the Desung Skilling Program was a solution to provide something that's quick and agile to our young Bhutanese Desups so that they're market ready and relevant. I would like you to tell us a bit more about some of the key milestones that the Desung Skilling Program has achieved till date. Since its launch, DSP has achieved remarkable milestones, including training over 8,500 individuals through 157 
different skilling program across multiple sectors and transforming Bhutan's employment landscape by providing youth with uh, industry specific skills. Recently, we have started a global online trainer recruitment campaign where we have noticed within the first week itself, we have received more than hundreds of applications uh, interested to join as a trainer in DSP, which demonstrates uh, DSP's growing credibility and success. Beyond technical training, DSP has fostered a culture of service, discipline, and leadership, empowering youth to actively contribute to nation building. Tasho, on that note, where do you see the Desung Skilling Program headed in the next 10 years? In the next decade, DSP aims to expand its impact by introducing specialized training in technology, entrepreneurship, and emerging industries, establishing dedicated training centers across Bhutan to improve accessibility, then strengthening partnership with private sector companies, international institutions, and technical training organizations to enhance program quality and create more employment opportunities. And then we are aiming to contribute remarkably to the Galifu Mindfulness City by our desops playing key role in its construction phase and future collaboration with international firms. Tasho, it's been very inspiring to listen to everything that you have said so far, but let us also discuss some of the challenges that the Desung Skilling Program may be facing and how these challenges can be turned into opportunities. Uh, some of the key challenges uh, include scaling up the training institution to meet the growing demand and keeping training programs updated to align with the evolving job uh, market trends. However, these challenges uh, also present an opportunity because Namge, you are very aware of how we started the DSP back in 2021. We never had any training, permanent training centers, but now we have uh, well-established skilling centers starting from all the way in the east, uh, Yonfula, then we have in Galpojing, Punakha Paduna, uh, Gelfu Sejong and <coughs> several other training center. So we take these challenges into opportunities and we are really looking forward uh, to enhancing the skilling program further. Tasho, I believe your experience as the chairperson of the Desung Skilling Program has been nothing short of remarkable. But could you share some of your most memorable experiences with the Desung Skilling Program so far? Uh, one of the most fulfilling aspects of leading DSP has been witnessing the transformation of young Bhutanese. Many Desups join with uncertainty about their future, but uh, they live with confidence, valuable skills, and a renewed sense of purpose. Seeing them secure jobs, start business, and contribute meaningfully to Bhutan's economy and society is incredibly rewarding. The spirit of service, unity, and empowerment that DSP fosters make this program truly impactful. I always remind my Desup Nyambros that their success is the greatest way to repay the incredible gift they have received from His Majesty. And I certainly hope that the Desung Skilling Program succeeds in all its endeavors and future aspirations. Tasho, Chairperson of the Desung Skilling Program, thank you so much for joining us in the studio here today. Thank you. Thank you, Namge, uh, for hosting this DSP podcast. And we really look forward with this podcast. It creates an awareness for all our Desung Nyamros to come forward and join the Skilling Program. And at the same time, look forward for the foreign trainers interested to join this mission to uh, skill up our uh, young Buddhists here in Bhutan. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Lah. <laughs>